Hey guys, going to do a quick video on some best practices for utilizing cut buckets or cut pails, which is essentially just the container you would use and carry around with you that's going to hold the paint and that you can dip into with your brush while you are cutting in or edging in a room with your brush, getting ready to roll it out. A very common and also economical way to utilize a cut bucket is to simply just use the paint container that you are working from. Now you don't want to use an overly full container. I would say you don't want it probably any more than one third full because number one, you don't want it to be too heavy and you don't want paint all the way up to the top to where any sort of maneuver could easily spill the paint out and just make it difficult to work with. So what I would recommend is if you are gonna use the can, simply dump out most of the paint into your roller pan before you start working with this. When you're carrying these, you don't wanna just walk around like this. You're going to be swinging all over the place. It's very unstable. It's, when you're holding it like this, it's also going to be difficult to dip your brush because there's not a lot of space there and you're going to get paint all over your hands. It's going to be a very frustrating experience. So if you're going to work with the paint can, you want to make sure that you're getting your fingers underneath, slide your thumb underneath the handle here, and then you're picking it up and now you got really good control and handle of the bucket. It's not swinging around loose. Really can easily feel comfortable that it's gonna be nice and steady. Now, one of the downsides of using a can like this is that it can be very difficult for somebody who doesn't do this all the time to actually hold the can like this. And as you can see here, that doesn't really feel that great. If you got hands that are beat up and worn and they're used to this, it's not gonna really be a big deal. But if you don't paint all the time, or let's face it, a lot of pretty boys out there, you're not gonna last very long holding the can like this. Look at that right there. I mean, you can see the impression in my thumb. So for even for somebody who does this all the time, if you have a long day of cutting in, that can be pretty painful on your hands. Thankfully, there are alternatives out there. This is a little tool from the Pivot Company. This little pivot thumb tool will allow you to slide it right over the handle like that. So now when you handle it, we're able to get underneath. Now look at that. It's nice and secure. I still don't, I still have really good control. My hands are underneath it. And again, you wanna make sure the can's not too heavy, but now I can go and really work for long periods of time comfortably with this tool. You can also get yourself one of these swivel pot hooks. And what this allows you to do is to easily hook your can to a ladder and you simply attach this to the handle and then this hook will allow you to put that over a ladder rung so when you're climbing up at heights on a ladder you have a nice secure safe area to put your cup bucket please avoid carrying it around like this this is uh you know pretty dangerous can easily lead to a spill you can see how easily this slides around and how the can could easily tip spill all over the place so just allow it to fall down like that Grab the handle in the center so you can keep it nice and balanced. Now, an alternative, if you don't mind spending a little bit of money, is that uh, I re really, at Bronze Painting, really like these handy pals. Um, these are pals that have a built-in handle. So you can grab these handles like this. Very, very comfortable. I mean, that fits so nice onto your hand. You don't have those pressure points where you're gonna create some serious pain in your hands. Just really carries around beautifully. A nice adjustable, kind of one size fits all handle down here where you could pop that off and make it either bigger or smaller depending on the size of your hand. One of the best aspects of these handy pails is the built-in magnet that you have there. So when you need to set your brush down or you need to take a break, you just simply put your brush right there and look how nicely that clings on there. Something that's very convenient is that they do make plastic liners for these pails. So this is really nice if you're working with multiple products or multiple colors, you can just use the liners, which are about a dollar each. And you know they're disposable. You can just kind of use it, swap it out. You don't have to worry about changing the actual pail. Just put a new liner in there. So this is the Handy Pail liners right here. They typically sell it in six packs. Uh, they do tend to love to market to painters in six packs. I don't really know why that is, but here you have it here. 
Now the big downside to the handy pails is they really don't have a convenient way to hook a pot hook onto this to where you could dangle this from a ladder. So this is great for lower level interior painting where you're just walking around and you don't really have to use ladders much. There you have it guys, Cup Bucket 101. Congratulations, you are a graduate. I hope you feel a lot better about using a cup bucket on your next painting project. And I hope to God this was not a date night for you and you watched this video.